Hello again, guys, and welcome back to the L. No, I trade so later 2015. <laughs> yes, the, the, yeah, the El 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 Elder Scrolls uh, 6 Train Simulator Edition. No, um, I'm still getting that armor system. I, I, I played Morrowind for a long time. It's it's affected me. Anyway, let's move on to the next scenario here, guys. Oh dear, what a laugh. Uh, what I will do actually quickly here, come to think of it, I'll, I'm going to check if the Torbay Express scenario is under Korea. Just to make sure, because uh, if it isn't, I'll do it after I've done the Cajon Pass ones, you know, j just to make sure I've showed everything. Um, Korea, is, is Torbay Express under Korea? Of course not, because there's no Bristol Strikes to the lines. Okay, yep, in that case, we will do the uh, Torbay Express after we've done the Cajon Pass uh, scenario on. Uh, the standard scenario list. Um, apparently this one's going to be two hours. Don't stop moving. You literally can't st Oh, God, no. Take a long, heavy train off the car and pass in a winter morning. There are higher priority trains on the line, so stop at signals when needed. However, coming to a stop on the steep upgrades of the pass may cause problems. One hour, twenty minutes, hard. So, are we going to go up the Cajon Pass? Are we genuinely going to go up the Cajon Pass again? Let's find out. And we are here, guys, and this looks absolutely terrible. We are actually... Are we rolling backwards? You are climbing the pass on the south track. Your heavy train will make this a long, hard slog. Trying to stop on the upgrade or you might have trouble restarting and lose valuable time. Oh, for fuck's sake. My go via Cajon South. Are we actually rolling backwards? I think we are a bit. Oh, Christ. Uh, okay, anyway. This one might actually be a good challenge, I think. I hope this train will actually move. It does have three or four engines, actually, so... But the train is absolutely massive. Is there, is there a passenger view? No, of course there isn't. Be sorry. Oh god, this train actually actually cannot move. Bloody hell. I guess we'll put our lights on, uh, since everyone else is. There we go. So, we're passing that train. This... This uh, signal ahead of us is actually red, so let's just be very careful. I apologise if, if the camera angle or the lighting is, is dodgy uh, on the face cam, I, it, I know it is absolutely terrible. Uh, the light that comes through this window when I try to record videos during the day just absolutely kills me. Um, Ah, there's the former Dan Hernandez thing on the radio again. Ah, for the for the good old games. Uh, right, I'm gonna have to I'm, I'm gonna have to wait, I guess. Here. I Ho hope this freaking signal turns green in a minute. Otherwise, I don't I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm trying to be as slow as I possibly can. We're, 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 we actually just have to come to a freaking stop here, aren't we? Oh, is it? It's green. It's green. Oh, it's yellow actually. Ah, one green, one one red. That's fine. Let, let's just get a freaking move on. Let's not actually just. Oh my god, we can't move. Oof, this, this is actually going to be a slog. Hopefully, mm, it, it looks like we are going to be able to go a little bit faster than, than the whole uh, incident, you know, the, 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 the last time we had a massive train to, to Toba Hill due to the uh, number of engines we have. But I'm still not overly confident because this gradient looks absolutely ridiculous. Where are we on the map anyway right now? Okay, so where are we? Um, okay, so we're back down here. We're like sort of halfway to the, the middle. 
Well, actually, more than halfway. Yeah. Um, so that. So obviously, we're, we're going to be going uphill, but then of course we should start going downhill once we hit the summit track. I think. I hope. Uh, I guess it makes sense. Here we are. Ah, yeah, we're switching tracks. Okay. I guess, I guess that's why we had to wait because the, the other train was coming down this way, so we couldn't just speed on, otherwise we just barge into the rear carriages, which wouldn't, which wouldn't have been good for anyone really. Uh, so, how many are we actually carrying? Uh, if we have a look at no, oh, no, that's not the wrong button, clearly. If we have a look at the coupling view. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's absolutely terrible. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. I can't even, I can't even to count. It's, it, it, it's over 50 carriages. This is a ridiculous... This is a ridiculously big train. I felt like a... I felt like I nearly just said ridiculously. Just look at all the freaking train, yeah. Four engines, but then all, all of this lot, but the... Stables and all that. Christ, this is, this is ridiculous. I forgot like all this. Oh, there's, oh, oh there's, an, there's, there's two engines on the, on the back as well. Well, nobody really wonder. <laughs> oh my lord. Could this be over a hundred? Maybe not that much, but... It, it could be like 60, 70 uh, carriages here, I think. Which is absolutely insane. This definitely will be a long, hard slog wheel, unfortunately, but... Ah, well. It still, it, it still feels better than, 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 the, than the other one, because obviously, you know, we, we can move at a reasonable pace. It's not, it's not fast, but it's not slow, you know. Two, uh, two miles, uh, uh, just, just under two miles now to go to the uh, Cajon South track. Uh, obviously, the, the the one we did going uphill, uh, Big Jack Slime. Look at the size of this train, it's absolutely mental. Uh, Big Jack Slime, we had to go via the North track, of course, so obviously things are a slight different. Uh, I'm just trying to see here. I think... I think this. I think that one is is ours, the green one, because we are on the right hand side of the uh, track, aren't we? Okay, yeah, we're, we're sort of moving to the right. I think. I think. I think the, the green one will be ours, but I'll check that. And then we go by the car south track. And then that one is yellow. Okay, not too bad. It'll take us a little. It'll take us a little bit to get to the summit, but you know it's, it shouldn't be that bad as long as we uh, as long as we keep on moving, as the uh, scenario title does it does, does indeed say, we should be fine. Uh, hopefully, there's no AI derailments. Hopefully not, because that would be absolutely terrible. Like. Part of me feels that, that was probably my fault, but then again, I, I find it hard to, to take responsibility for that. Surely, 
sure that the, the, the junctions sh should just be set back, you know, if, if there's going to be AI trains coming. Why would they give me the option to fucking chain if, it, it, if they're actually going to cause bloody derailment and shit? That train is still passing through the Cajon track and the sidings. It's, it's that big. Ridiculous. Well, like I said, we are a lot closer to the summit than we were, so... Uh, sorry, well, than we were during the Big Jack Climb scenario. Uh, so, I don't think... I don't think this will be four hours. Probably not. But, you never know. You never know. It could, it, it could be. It could well be. So the scenario last time, actually, uh, in Big Jack's climb, actually ended when when we hit the summit, uh, when we actually hit the summit, the summit track uh, two uh, last time. Uh, but we then have to go via Lugo track two, which is there. And there's a big train stopping there, waiting for us. I imagine. Uh, then there's Hesperia siding four. And you drop all, of, drop off those. Or a lot of them, they go by that one and they go all the way to Victorville. So, hmm. uh, so uh, I guess we're not going all the way. So, I guess if it wasn't for this gradient, this scenario would probably be over quite quickly, I think. Uh, you'd imagine so, anyway. But, hey, I don't know. I really have no idea. Oh. Is that a knockoff Taco Bell? I think I think it actually is. There's a diner there as well. Awesome. Diner. Big red sign, then just diner. In very low res writing. Ah, but those wi those window graphics though, bloody hell, look at them. They are just flickering. Entrance, really. Oh, yeah. Very strange. Uh Right, so I assume this one coming up right now is green, right? I'm pretty certain it is. Yes, it is. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Perfect. Oh, yeah. The speed limit is going down to 30 in a few moments, but that shouldn't bother us too much. Like, it, it shouldn't affect us because of how, you know, slow we're going. This train really is struggling. Uh, despite the fact that it's got four engines on the front and then another two engines on the back, it's, it's, it's not, having it, not having it at all. Do the engines in the back actually do anything, or are they just maybe for, for putting power in, into reversing? I, d I don't know. Seems a little bit odd to me, but, you know, I'm not... I'm not a, a train expert by any means, by any stretch of the imagination, so I couldn't tell you exactly. Uh, I apologise if I sound a bit tired as well, uh, too, by the way, guys. I was up till about... Let me think, about 5 o'clock yesterday morning. Um, just some of you might know why. Big event. Absolutely, absolutely loved it. I thought it was excellent. I know several people probably might know what I'm talking about. And they're sitting there, and they're sitting there shouting at the screen saying, You sad bastard. And yes, you are absolutely correct. I am indeed a very sad bastard. 
Um, but I love it, honestly. Most excited I've, I've gotten about that. I've got that. Most excited that I've gotten about that stuff in a while, a long time. Uh, so, yeah, that's all good. Anyway, that's why I sound a little bit tired. I'm going to be in big trouble today, actually. You know, st 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 staying up till five o'clock in the morning, and then I'm playing. I'm playing six side football tonight. I'm recording this video. I I'm gonna have to buy like five energy drinks or something like that, otherwise I'm I'm I'm, I'm gonna be done. I'm just gonna be finished. Sixteen miles an hour we're going and we're constantly slowing down, unfortunately. The gradient is two point seven percent. That's probably the highest I've seen it be in a while, because it, it used to always be around two, I think, on the big jack swan. The, the, the big checks fly, uh, but it's, it's gone up to 2.7%. I, I assume that's all sort of the I assume that's the level of the gradient that that your you know train is on. It's like a 2.7% increase in the in gradient, I guess. Uh, yeah, the the the, the ETA, ETA should be about right. We we will be there in about a minute, maybe. Uh, the ETA is constantly going up actually though, so you never know, you never know. Hopefully though, you know, once we actually uh, reach the summit, uh, we should be able to go quite fast, but that's another thing. With the level of, uh, of weight that this train is carrying, it might be a little bit awkward to stop, like the... Uh, Scenario description said, so we are going to have to be quite careful to make sure we don't overrun any signals because uh, other trains have priority uh, over us. So we may experience some difficulties if we do try to run, uh, run any red lights. We are going to piss a lot of people off. Um, is this train still wet? Yeah, I assume it's waiting for us. I assume we have priority over that train. Yeah, the, the signals are green there as well, so I guess we do. A bit strange. I said that uh, all the trains are priority, I assume, but that's just not one of them. Videos must be made. I shall fight through the tiredness. I shall try and uh, have an, uh, I'll try and have a, a, another adrenaline rush. That that genuinely happened last night. Honestly, I was watching the aforementioned event, and I felt absolutely exhausted towards the end. Like just like physically exhausted. I just, I just want to like, like fall asleep. But then the ending happened, and I think everyone in the room that I was in got a massive just boost. It was absolutely fantastic. Brilliant feeling. And then I just didn't feel tired after that. I, I just didn't, didn't at all. An SD42 train, uh, SD42 led train on the Cal North track is stalled and is, re is restarting. Your radio confirms the train starts priority, so ensure it passes in front of you at the summit. Try to stop your train in case you have similar problems restarting. You can check the position on, on progress on the Cal North train on the, dude, on the 2D map. SD42, okay, so. Oh my lord. 
So we actually have to try and make sure that this SD42 train gets to the summit before us. Oh my god, this is going to be a pain. This is going to be an absolute pain. Um, fuck. I guess, I guess this is why uh, the scenario is going to be meant to be taken quite a while. At least the scenario actually seems quite well put together and, and not like generic and stuff. That train isn't actually moving yet, that's, that's the annoying thing. Uh, a 3% gradient. Oh, no. Yeah, I'm about to get a little bit gloomy. I was getting very gloomy. It's going to start raining through the rest of Right. Is this SD42 train actually going to move? Because. I don't even know what I'm gonna do. If I'm gonna have to just slow down a bit. We just tone down the acceleration for the, about half power. We slow down to about maybe eight, nine miles an hour. That should be okay, I think. Turn down a bit more. We have to go quite fast. It said to try not to stop the train because I might experience problems restarting. So I'm going to try not to stop the train. Can't guarantee anything, but I'll try. There we go, the SD42 train is moving, so... Uh, that, that just needs to pass in front of us. If that gets in front of us at the summit, we are absolutely sorted. I like this, this is better, you know. It's... Uh, it's more sort of interesting than just sort of, you know, driving a straight line. Uh, or, or like, you know, just basically just, oh, go 100% and just, just, just hope for the best, really. It's actually having us, you know, slow down a bit. Although... We, we, we were going quite slowly anyway. Try to ease off a bit on the throttle. Um, The SD42-2 train is definitely moving a bit faster than, than, uh, than ours. I think it is anyway. I don't know if this is maybe an illusion because my train is a lot longer. I think that train is moving a bit faster than ours. Like I said, we'll try not to uh, stop the train, like the uh, scenario description did, did say. It says, you know, keep on moving. Um, so hope hopefully we do. I hope I hope I'm not I'm not going too quickly. I, I don't think I am. I mean, I am I am dropping behind that train a bit, so I think I'm going at a, a, a good pace. I certainly hope so, anyway. Um, 
Is there going to be two tracks, or, or are we going to both be going on the same one? Because I was going to say, if we are both going on the same one, then we might experience some difficulties. Uh, we are going to have to go really fucking slowly. Uh, like I said, that, that's probably the reason why uh, why the scenario says it's going to take about two hours, because we are having to manage our speed and uh, timing and such. It looks like it, it's a good way ahead of us now. It should be, but I'm not completely certain. <coughs> I suppose if we are meant to give it priority and it has to go ahead of us, then then I assume that it will be on the same line, unfortunately, which will be a fucking fantastic laugh. I'll accelerate back to 100% now because I don't think that there's any need for us to, to be this slow. I think, I think we can probably still go at our uh, reasonably good speed now and, and not be. Um, and not overtake that train. It's the hope not. If we, if we are going too fast, we'll, we'll slow down accordingly. Absolutely. This video is, is actually just going to contain uh, two hours of me yawning, and you know, I'll stress again, it's not because of the game, 
it, 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 it's, it's generally because of my, of my, you know, actual lack of sleep, my disgraceful lack of sleep. I think at this point we'll save, just to make sure uh, we don't experience any horrendous errors. Hello again, guys. Right, uh, you may have noticed... Maybe this is a bit of a change, uh, quite possibly. I suppose it's because I'm recording uh, this on a different day. This, next, this, this, you know, from here on onwards. I might have to record the, the next part, the, the next part is written on a different day as well. I don't know, we'll see how it goes, but yeah, I had to stop recording uh, just before. So. So yeah, we're still going up the summit here, or, or we're going towards the summit of course. Um, we are over here, we have to allow that train to be run to us at the summit. So we have to be careful. I think we're okay going this way, but that train is going up. That's not big. Um, once we go by the summit, we should, start, we should start going downhill, and then we can make our way all the way to Victorville 1. Which isn't quite all the way, but it's still it's still a good way to go on the Camon Pass. It's a very very long uphill uh, trek, I guess, right now. So is there still no passenger? This is no, there's no, there's no, because I'm obviously carrying freight and no, no passengers. You just have a, have a vision sometimes when you're playing this the train, it's just sort of derailing, you know. It's not going to happen, but there's always that worry that it will, you know. It's, it's, I don't like it. I always think, oh, I've done something wrong, and I've, uh, I've, put a, I've put a junction on the wrong direction or whatever, you know, something like that. Um, but yeah, it still absolutely baffles me how long this train actually is. I mean, just, just look at it on the map. Look how far it stretches, it's absolutely insane how long it goes on. Jesus Christ, it's so, so big. Um, anyway, yeah, I recorded the majority of, the, of this, the, 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 past, the past bits of this episode on the Monday. It's now Tuesday, so yeah. Have anything left to record after I, after I have to do this session? Then I will record it tomorrow probably. But for now, let's just carry on. Hopefully, I'll get it finished today. I should do. I don't, I don't think there'll be that long left. I mean, I think I've gone through the majority of well, I've gone through the majority of it in a way I have. But I've gone through the the toiling uphill segments. Well, most of them anyway. I'm nearly finished with that now, so it's just something going on left. So after that, we should be okay. Um, I think, th I think again, that is the only reason that, that these that, that this scenario will take so long is because we have to stop and wait for some trains to pass us, and we have to um, help to travel uphill, which slows us down immensely. I mean, we're completely incapable of even going 20 miles an hour, so it's it's just totally for the best, really. And there's that train passing there. So we'll have to be careful here to make sure that we don't um, crash into this train. Hopefully, hopefully it goes on a different track, but I'm not quite sure how this is going to work. It probably warns, to be honest. Yeah, will it? No, it won't. It'll, it'll be on a different track to us. But we still have to give it priority, because I think... Is it merging to one, or...? Hmm, I guess it doesn't, but... We, we, we still have to make sure that we are behind... 
the, the train. That train there. Quarter to nine in the morning on uh, the game. It's about eight o'clock or something like that in real life. Still very bright outside though. Well, no, it's not actually. <laughs> being, I'm being completely fooled by by my light on and the curtains are they're just playing tricks on me. Don't like it. Yeah, two miles to the summit and then we should be going a lot faster because I'm sort of going down here. Again, we have to be careful because of, of, of all the way up at the back of the train. We might we might struggle to slow down. I'm not sure, we'll see how it goes. Actually, that's that's a point. Now, if I look at this, how is that train going to get anywhere? I guess, I guess this one, the one that's in front of us, will have to go on the track that we're going on, going on because that one is not going to move moving. I don't think. There's plenty of time anyway. I assume that one's just going to. Unless it falls into the siding, but I doubt it will because there's not really much space. Mm. I'm, sure, I'm, sure, I'm just trying to see what exactly will happen with this train because. Well, that train's gone through the summit portal anyway, so. Because if it goes down that way, then all that's going to happen is that it's going to barge into the train that's up here somewhere. Which I can't find anywhere. There. So, I'm going to assume it's going to be changing tracks, but I'm not really sure if it's going to be nice progress to see what's going on. Yeah, it is going down the right hand side of the uh, track, so. Let's be very careful. This train gets priority. Can't be uh, pulling ahead of it or anything, otherwise, we'll be in ritual. That train's got. Oh, wait a minute, no. That train's gone via Summit Track 2. We have to go via Summit Track 1. So then that means that we'll be the ones who are going like, to ram into that train. What the hell is going on? Let's just see what happens. Because we are sort of on the wrong track. We are meant to be going via Summit Track 1. And that wouldn't be correct, I don't think. No, it wouldn't be. Uh, pretty much, we're gonna have to like. Um, I generally don't even know. Oh no! Oh no! Yeah, right. It's gonna change us to the other track once we're down there, so it should be, it should be okay. I was getting a little, a little bit concerned then because I was wondering what exactly we're going to have to do because obviously we can't change the signal or anything like that. Like I said as well, uh, I, I will be doing the Torbay Express scenario again once I've finished the card pass as I didn't actually get to, get to upload the Torbay Express because I uh, didn't have my microphone working all the time. Like I, sat, like, like I said, I sat there for two hours and I checked the video afterwards and it didn't it wasn't picked up the commentary. I might have still uploaded it anyway, just to have it on, but there's a horrible static noise, and that is just... I can't have that on, on the video. It's just horrible, like, awful static noise, which is just very, very noticeable, so... Sadly can't. I, I couldn't put that up. To be honest.
Well, it's looking like it's gonna rain anyway. I'm just grumbling all over the place right now. <laughs> I need to stop. I need to stop yawning. Honestly, I, I I always seem to yawn when I record these videos. I don't know why. Like I I I, I truly do enjoy doing them. So it's it's, it's not anything to do with that. You can be rest assured. It's, it's just I don't know what it is. Really. It's very very odd. Randomly can't. I really can't stay awake while recording YouTube videos. Uh, right. I wonder, I wonder where that train is actually going to go. Probably just go straight down into uh, that track. I assume that this train is going to go onto that track, and then we will go onto that one, or maybe we'll go back to this one. We're definitely swapping tracks because we can't go all the way through, otherwise, you know, we're screwed. That light is yellow, that should be fine, and then we'll go through the. Uh, through the sidings and then, and then through a couple more signals and then we should be uh, free of the summit free to go downhill and go absolutely crazy Just about to flatten out as well, so I'm going to be in a great bit if we can stop being so uh, conservative, I guess. There we go, it's just, it's just coming into view on the Screen, if you can see it, summit track one should be popping up. Summit track two, I'm gonna be a little bit worried, but I'm pretty sure I saw it. Uh, that doesn't seem to happen enough in the scenarios. You don't seem to get to be able to change your signals easily enough, although I kind of feel that on that the last time I, I did one of these, the first sort of one of this class. It was probably my fault for dealing with the uh, junctions that two trains actually collided with each other, which is very, very shit. Here we go. You can tell now by the, by the speed that we are actually. Uh, definitely accelerating quite a bit, so we'll just have to be very careful that we don't go over the wheel and go to speed limit. Try and manage it well enough, it shouldn't be too hard. We are, we, we are going to go up to 50 in a moment, but it's going to take an absolute age to, to get the train over that line, so it's probably not much point in trying to just accelerate to it. Because, uh, yeah. We'll have gone about a mile past the summit track by the time that the back of the train reaches this, this signal. Right, so here we are, back at the summit track, and we are going too fast. We're going a mile too fast. Oh, calm down, calm down, slow down, slow down, slow, 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 slow. My fault for speeding. Pretty big mistake on my part, should be okay though. Shouldn't be too much trouble. 
How is that speeding? I'm at 31. Oh, well, actually, no, yeah, the, the speed was 30, so I guess that doesn't make sense. That was I thought it was 31 for some reason. If it was 30.9, it would be speeding, but 31, definitely speeding. Um, go via Lugo Track 2, no problem. Certainly do that. She's just trying to ease off slightly on the throttle. What should we do on uh, all the cookies? There's that train going toward the other one, I think. Yep, there it is. And that is our goal right now to go via Lugo Track 2. So I assume that train on Lugo Track 1. Yes, it is, so that means we should be able to go to the one way right. The question is exactly how to do that. We can go faster now, anyway, because it's 40 miles. It's not much, though. Um, yeah, I, I assume something must change somewhere down the line for, for it to. Uh, for me to get to the, 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 the track 2. Yeah, we're just starting our little downhill uh, trend here, and then we should we should we should just just be about ready to get some serious speed going. Uh, well, when I say serious speed, I don't obviously mean the sort of like hundred mile an hour jobs that I was doing on the rest of the line. I mean more like thirty. But hey, quick, you've got to take away in guess. I guess can't be choosing such. A, uh, Speed does not go over 40 miles an hour, so we'll just back up the tab. Oh, the, the speed limit is back up, it's up to 50 now, so we don't have to worry about the 41. We'll have to make sure that we slow down a bit near 50 though, because that would be pretty shit. We started speeding then. Just see if we can see over there, don't we? I don't know, that's not there, it's all far over there, isn't it? There we go. Yeah, sh shouldn't be too far. Uh, let me just check which, which, one, which side are we on. Which one left on? No, I'm right. Which means that that one should be on the right as well, I think. No, no that one's on the left. Oh, no, this one. This, this one's going somewhere, isn't it? That one's also on the right, so we'll have to be quite careful that we don't uh, run everybody over or cause a massive collision. Speed, so we're going to go by the Lugo track and then by the Hesperia siding, apparently. Going to go to the siding is oh, it's quite a way away. Not miles, but still reasonable. I, I, I need a coffee or something like that, honestly. 
It's like, it, it's it's not even 9 o'clock and I'm already exhausted. I don't, I, don't, I don't know what's going on. I absolutely do not know what, what is happening to me. Oh, God, we're speeding. You see, my, my attention is just gone. Absolutely gone. I put the brakes on. Slow down, man. Slow down. There we go. If I put it on like 8%, hopefully. That makes it still makes it go faster, obviously, because we are going down hills. I guess the raw effect would contribute to that. Um, let's see where we are. We are not too far away. Uh, I have absolutely no idea what I'm going to be doing, actually. It's very hard to sort of read exactly where the train's going to go without saying H3. Let's so, be careful. This is most certainly train simulator sleepy edition, guys. I can verify that for you right now. Train simulator sleepy edition. It's like it's like flight simulator to be honest. That. If I just run a red light, like, you can't tell to be honest because it always goes red after you drive through anyway. So, uh, apparently, I have to arrive at 921 and depart at 921 at the Hesperia siding. That should be quite achievable, I would hope. Obviously, let, uh, obviously we're going to have to uh, worry about this because we we'll fall behind if we are at the optimal speed. to get your speed good on the uh, up and down straight. So they're, they're either just going way too fast or way too slow. It's quite a challenge. But I'm always up for a challenge myself. Prize this train must pass the switches a Lugo ahead of you and then you can proceed the following single lot is only all the way a few minutes at Lugo. No problem. So the train that's ahead of me must pass the signals first at Lugo, which means we'll have to wait a few moments at Lugo. Okay. If, I, if, I, if that's the correct uh, description anyway. We'll be careful, we'll be very careful. We are actually catching up to this train ahead of us right now, but uh, it's on a different track so we shouldn't have too much to worry about. No worries of derailing or smashing into it or anything like that, I shouldn't think. Constant adjustments to the throttle to just try, even try and get um, the speed right, it's quite difficult. As you can see, I always think to go too fucking fast and too fucking slow, it's ridiculous. There's, there's just no happy medium for all those things. There, 
there's the, there's the train that has priority over us, of course. And we really desperately need to stop speeding, otherwise we're going to get in really trouble with the police. So just please stop it, train. Do not speed anymore. Oh, God. I'm trying to scratch it using bloody uh, play at the same time. It's, 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 it's a horrendous combination. I wouldn't recommend it for anyone. Right, so this set of lights here we probably have to stop at. <laughs> so let's start slowing right down. Obviously I forgot exactly how quickly you have to slow down. Uh, because of this... <laughs> because of this downhill slope. Just go pretty slowly. Pretty slowly. We should be okay. We just need to make sure the train's going quite slowly, just so we can uh, quite quickly stop it if we need to. Because we'd be screwed if the. Uh, if we were going about 50 miles an hour and we could have like a. Half a mile away from the train. That one is red, isn't it? Yeah, it definitely looks that way. Yeah, it'll be red. Okay, let's slow right down. Probably should have done this sooner, actually. Probably should have done this a lot sooner. Oh dear, we're probably not going to stop, stop in time now. <sighs> I'm such an idiot. Hopefully we'll just about stop in time. I don't think we'll, no, no we're going to go, go slightly too far. It's okay though, it's okay! It's only, it's only the one red signal. And we only slightly went past it as well, so you know. If we reverse now, <gasps> oh fucking hell! Pick up spread. What, what a bloody thing to have. Uh, yeah, it's just that one. That that one has to get to like the next the next set of signals before we can actually move. Right, so once this. Once, once the front carriage gets behind these lights again, or, or in front of the lights, I guess, uh, yeah, then everything will be fine. No, no, keep going, keep going. And then we can stop. Tiny bit further. And there we go. So now we. It, it's rolling forward! The freaking train keeps on rolling forward. Stop it, stop it. I need to have control and forward. Uh, okay, that should be that should be us okay. Uh, if we just put that back to forwards. We just need to wait for the that train to get to the next set of lights and then we should be okay, hopefully. Then we just move on to Hesperia Siding for we have to drop off about every single fucking thing that I have on this train. And then we'll be sorted. We will be fan at that video.
How many tracks is there here? Oh, no two. I thought there was three for some reason, I was slightly confused. I was going to say, where on earth has a third track came from? train isn't rolling forward, is it? I don't think it is. Actually, slightly, I think. Yeah, the, the train actually is rolling slightly forward. It's slightly strange. Right, can we move now then, since that train's gone through? I'm not completely certain. Or maybe it's just done it because we're, we, we, already, we already went through, so... Oh, there we go. It's yellow now. Yeah, so we can go through it. Okay, cool. Right, so let's put the throttle back to 100% and let's get a fucking move on. Let's go through Lugo track 2 and then off, off to uh, the spare area where we can drop off all these carriages. Not the majority of them at least. This train's gonna go onto a different track. Yes, it is. It's uh, good. I was gonna say, if it went straight ahead, then the train would be a bit too. These hiccups are just, are just absolutely brilliant. Stuff. Just have to wait for the rest of the train to come with us now. Go from far back. It's, 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 actually, it's actually almost a mile. It, it, it looks like it. It might be a mile long train, it's incredible. Anyway, we are just about through Lula now. There we go. There. Yep, there we go. Okay. So now we have to go to the Hesperi Siding 4. Stop there. Uh, we need to be there at 9.21.03. We're estimated to get there about a minute ahead of schedule, so that's fine. Try to be ahead of schedule behind schedule, of course. I don't, I don't know if this train might actually start moving now. That well, actually it won't move now because half of my train is still probably blocking, they're blocking its path. This is a freaking massive train. Oh, actually, look at this. Hmm. Not as big as ours, though. I don't think anything is as big as ours. Although it still goes mad, it still goes miles faster than the, the big jack. Big Jack and his bloody two engines or whatever it was. We've got was it four, or three, four, I think. So we've got a good, we've got a good little speed boost. At least. That's eased off a little on the throttle. Just make sure we don't start flying off tracks and shit. Um, Speed is this? Is this seems quite acceptable? Forty-eight point seven miles an hour. It's a very solid speed, roughly optimal, I'd say. I hope this siding's big enough for, for all these carriages, because you know I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. Feels like it's going to be pushing it quite close.
we're now going to be uh, three minutes ahead of schedule by the looks of things, so we have plenty of time to uh, relax and just make sure everything is going smoothly. The only, th <laughs> the only thing I've done bad so far, really, is, is actually, you know, run that red light, but... Is that is that train going to be moving anytime soon? You know, it it, it could it, it could probably move forward now if it wanted to. You know, just a th just a thought if it, you know if it feels like it. But whatever, if if it wants to just sit there, you can sit there. Doesn't bother me at all. We should be able to increase our speed in a bit, but uh, the only thing is. Sure, when we get to this area in relation to how long, we, how long these speed limits are going to last. Although the siding is actually free, so I guess, I, wish, I guess everything should be okay there. Set the point as spare siding for ensure your train is fully in siding before by pulling up to the exit signal. Right, so we, so we have to set the, uh, the junctions properly. Siding 4, is, is that the one that's, that's right on the end or...? Wait, is that siding 4? Oh god it is. So how the fuck do we actually get there? I think it should be set to siding four anyway. But I'm not 100% on that one. So we would go down that way, and then down there. And then we go. No, that's not right. So we have to go change. Oh, that one, that one's locked. Uh, change that one. No, we can't actually. Change those. It seems like odd to be yeah. Not quite sure what we're going to do. I we'll have to I'll have to be careful, otherwise we're gonna, we're gonna completely derailing our train. Can we change this one? We can't change that one. All the junctions just locked, we change that one. Oh, we can change that one. Well, there's no point to that unless we can change that one. <laughs> uh, well, just in case, we'll have that one go down that way, because that is actually the right direction. Uh, I think we're going to be going the right way, but, you know, I genuinely have an idea. I'm quite worried. So if, we go, if we're going to be going down this way, we one of these has to, has to be changed, otherwise we're going to skew off over the, over there, which is not something that we particularly want. Uh, right, come on. It it's got to it's got to be one of these which has to be changed. Why are the fucking junctions locked? It's, 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 Disgrace, man. And we're here just speeding towards a sparing metal. I hope I haven't missed it. I hope I haven't run past any signals. Chances are I have. <laughs> Chances are I'll hiccup wildly on the way as well. 
Right, so that is yellow, which means we don't have to worry too much. Okay, okay, so they can actually be changed now. Okay, no problem. The change should have to change that one. Right, and that should take us all the way to, all the way down this way I'm for. Right, okay. I'm pretty certain that, that we're gonna, we are going to be going the right way. Let me just check. Du -du 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 -du. Yep, we cert we certainly are. Definitely going to be going the right way. Okay, awesome. Oh, we're speeding for. F Wait, what? I'm sorry, hang on, hang on, sorry, 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 sorry. If we just leave that to the side, a little bit. Um, actually, we are, we are going to have to wait, sorry, I'll leave that. Because uh, we need to seriously decelerate as, the, as there is obviously signal on the 50 mile an hour zone. But what the fuck has happened there? I mean, what, what has happened to that? A bit of road has ended up becoming like a tornado in the, in the sky. I'm very, very confused. I... I don't know. I honestly do not know. Let's, let's decelerate a, a bit of a slow pace. This one actually will probably be, you know, siding one, I think. Oh, two. Siding two. Wait, no? No, no, so yeah, siding one. Right, that's a flashing red uh, thing, so that obviously signals that we have to, so we have to slow down, which thankfully is actually marked on the map. So, thank you very much again, by the way, for letting me know that, because I am a th about anything. Just put it about zero or something. I believe it's slightly accelerated. About to enter the 50 mile an hour zone, so we have to be quite careful. I'm just trying my best to, to manage, manage the speed, but again, going downhill, you have to make you have to make constant slight adjustments. So it's not the easiest thing to be doing. And there we go, we are in 15 zone now, so we have to be quite careful. Oh god, don't accelerate! Don't accelerate, you're already going 15, I'm going to be slowing down. Absolutely crazy train this is. So, so we have to go right to the end of this siding. Course, um, which doesn't actually surprise me considering how long the train is. If we uh, don't go right to the end, it's obvious that it's obvious that the back end of the train is going to end up like just completely uh, blocking another side and all the main line or something, main line or something like that, which doesn't do anyone any good, you know.
we still have another mile or so to go before the actual end of the sign as well, according, according to the uh, destination guide, so... We'll have plenty of fun, I'm sure, going down this siding. I probably sound like I'm drunk or something, I can assure you I'm not. I mean, unless having one can of Pepsi can, uh, is considered being drunk, in which case, yes, I'm certainly drunk. Don't know why I get these freaking hiccups. Up sometimes, it's very, very good, really. Makes knee sense. Knee sense, what's up? This is going to be a task to stop in the right place, I bet you. Because it, it says we have to go all the way to all the way to the exit signal to make sure that we get the entire train in the siding, so... This should be good fun. Very, very good fun. It, it is very nice seeing the car pass in daylight again, I must add, you know. Uh, obviously, in the in the last scenario, I did, I did get to see it, but after uh, after playing Big Jack's Climb, just being a clip, you know, just just, just eclipsed into, dar into darkness, it was pretty weird. So, to actually have some light in this, it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's a big boost. So you get to see the, the little villages and things and all the dead shrubbery. <laughs> that seems to be everywhere. Looks like, like, like some army base kind of thing, but I don't know it is. Or some like industrial complex or whatever it is. Um, right, just decelerate a bit. Again, I need to carefully manage the speed to make sure we don't go too far over or too far under. Don't speed, don't speed. Please do not speed. Have a little bit of way to go. I can see the signal on the on the map now. Uh, I honestly don't think that we're going to get this entire train into this, but um, judging by, I don't think we will. But uh, we might do. Uh, although I guess it's 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 potentially could mean that we don't actually have to detach everything. We probably don't. We'll probably just like leave half of it here and take half of it with us or something. Uh, we'll, we'll see what happens. I'm not quite sure. We'll have to like look exactly wh what we have to get rid of once we're actually stopped at the end. It, sh it shouldn't be too hard to stop as well anyway, because I'm slowly going. So if, if, if I just change it to minus 100% now, it'll be able to stop in about a second. Oh, don't speed up my hands. My hands are probably this damn problem.
approximately half a mile now towards the end by the looks of things. Uh, shouldn't be too long. Look in it, I think we might actually get the whole train in. I think we might just about do it because the majority of it is in and we've still got a way to go. So yeah, yeah, we will probably get the whole train in, so I guess potentially we could be getting rid of the whole thing, but I still think we're probably going to keep a little bit because I, I can't say it's go all the way to Victorville with just you know with just the uh, the 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 engine, but I don't know. We'll see what happens. We'll see what it asks us to to detach at the end. It is, it is a tad bit frustrating, this whole thing, uh, having to um, you know, keep on adjusting things regarding the speed. And I'm not sure if this camera's working properly. I apologise if it isn't. Uh, I'm just all over the place right now. I should be okay, I, th I hope. I, I don't know. I genuinely don't know anymore. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I hope that's fine. I hope I'm positioned correctly on the screen. I have no idea right now. Genuinely have no idea. Uh, oh dear. <laughs> I don't know, it just it doesn't look right. Nah, I hope, hopefully it is. Hopefully it is. I mean, you don't see many people uh, doing face cams with simulator videos anyway, so I guess. I guess a nice view of the curtains or some game boxes or whatever that might be on right now uh, would be terrible. And I'm, just, I'm just worried you can s things are blocking the windows. I think I'm just probably seeing a lot of stupid shit out here. So. Right, okay, let's try that. That's that looks better to me. I have to like wash my feet and make sure I'm not kicking cables around and moving the camera next time. It's rather rather aggravating. Anyway, we are pretty much right at the end. Is there anything left? Nope. Okay, so we just stop here. And we genuinely have to wait all this time. Okay, well, I'll cut this out and see you when we have to depart. Okie dokie. Right. Um, let us detach what we need to detach. Um, what do we need to detach? Crap. 137500 through to 6738. One three seven five hundred. Oh god. Is that right? One three seven five hundred. Right, that. One one three eight five. Okay, so if we click that, that should be right. Yeah. 
Craig Cars successfully uncoupled. Awesome. So we have to go via the Frost High Track. Good. Let's fire away. Let's get a move on. We should, we should, we should be moving even faster now because we have we still have the four engines pulling and we have much less weight to carry. So we'll have to be a little bit careful with our speed. If you just excuse me while I close this door. Awesome. Okay. Right, so it is uh, five miles now to the Frost Tire Track. Uh, we'll, we'll be going about 50 miles an hour. Let's just, just make sure we don't go over that. Wait a minute, have we... Stop, 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 stop. Stop right this minute. Stop. Hang on. I think there's been a mistake here. Yeah, this isn't right, is it? No, I don't think it is. Uh, I'm going to have to turn that off, that coupling thing off, because it's getting on my nerves. Um, get rid of them. And then go immediately. Don't let it couple back. I just noticed that. I, I, I just noticed that the last minute. Thank God for that. Yeah, that wouldn't have been good. <laughs> that would have slowed us down immeasurably. Uh, anyway. Oh, that has actually gotten rid of the rear engines, I guess, hasn't it? So maybe we won't go that much faster, I can't think of it. Let's have a look inside the cockpit of this train. It, it's actually called a cockpit? Um. In, in a train, or is, it was just like the the cabin or whatever. I I, I don't know what's called in the train. Generally not. Generally not 100% sure on that. Ah well. Oh, it's a fucking good job that that I noticed that. <laughs> that that would have been awkward. So we need to go via the frost high track, then stop at Victorville. So this should be done in another 20 minutes or something, probably, I imagine. Because I, th I think we are slightly ahead of schedule. Like, just then, I, I went downstairs to do something and I left this running. Uh, and I came back and everything was finished. Like, like before we were meant to depart, so... Uh, you know, I, th I think we are slightly ahead of schedule right now, which, which, is, which is good, you know? It means that everything will be done quickly. Uh, I would hope, anyway. Accelerating a bit. We left all those back there. I guess we have. Awesome. Just double checking that actually, because I, I you know, can't take any risks. I will definitely just check the settings of this because I'm not, not totally loving the auto coupling thing. Like it, it's useful because usually you can just back right into them and, and then bang the couple. But when you need to drop things off, it gets a bit awkward. It's very awkward, actually. What if, what if Foreman Dan Hernandez is, is getting up to anything these days, anyway? With him, and his, or him and his constant shout outs on the bloody radio. It's, it's freaking ridiculous at times.
very nearly in the 50 zone now, so we should be able to get a good old move on in a moment. And zoom on right over to the Frost High Track and then to Victorville where we can stop and end the scenario. And there, there we go, we can go 50 now, so let's just pop it up to 100% and let's get a move on. So, good old move on. That's how we go for it. Is this the Frost High Track? No, it's not. It's, it's a little bit far than that. Okay, that's absolutely fine. No worries there. <laughs> I, I don't even know. Oh, just dropping down to 45 here, so let's just slow down a bit. Slow down a bit. the speed now to make sure we don't go over 45 just like before when I'm like managing it to so we don't go over 15 which will be great math. There we go, 45. We should be okay as long as as long as we pay good attention. There's a cement train, Jesus Christ. There's also a signal coming up, is that? That signal coming up is red, isn't it? No, it's green now, it was red a moment ago, but now it's, now, now, now it's, now it's, now it's red. Sorry, now it's green, I should say. Cool, no issues with that. No need to stop or anything like that. These places, things are going to get a little bit confusing, all the junctions and stuff. We'll work it out when we get there. <laughs> or, when, or, or when we're on the way to getting there, I should say, because we're not going to be able to do it last minute. We'll just end up like, flying into a building or something like that, I'm not sure. Oh, 
won't speed up. Where's the line? There's the BNSF cement train. Obviously, the ring is the nice building supplies. Don't accelerate! Oh fuck! <laughs> My fingers aren't working properly anymore. I, don't think. I know it's I know it's probably a key command or something. I can't remember exactly what they are. F's or something. Oh, that's not right, what the fuck's happened there? Don't do that. No. Okay. Okay, I get it. Right, change that background. I get it. A and D are actually to change the the thing, but to uh, adjust the throttle level. But I won't I won't bother with that right now. I prefer, I prefer using the mouse, although actually, yeah, it, it's not like smooth enough for just transitions from. It just, it just goes. Too far you know, in one direction. And you know, just tap the so that's not good. Oh shit, 40. I, I, did, I didn't notice the, the change in the What the hell has happened to the sky? <laughs> I think the sky is just broke. The sky is actually just broke itself. I don't even want to know what's happening there. Oh my god, we're going, we're going over a bridge. I thought this is obviously the high track. Hopefully, hopefully we don't fall down to the lowest. Is, is that a dam? What's, what's going on there? Like, really, what is actually happening over there? I'm slightly confused about about all this scenery. Like, you know, I'm not really certain what's going on with it. Yeah, so something doesn't look quite right. Um, oh well, should, should be okay. Should, should, should be fine. Let's just not worry about it at all. Right, so we need to go to the Victorville side in five. I, again, I have no idea if we're going to be going the right way or not. Can we change the junctions here? Yes, we can. Okay, but we we are going to be careful in that case. I just want to. I just want the uh, blue line to extend a little bit farther, just so I can see our our uh, plotted uh, course, I guess. Just to make it a little bit easier. Although we we are going to go down the left track. Is there any opportunity to change that? Uh, there isn't really, is there? In Cheers for Civic 275 have said the signal is clear and completely stopped by 0946. So let's just let's just see this. I'm a little bit confused. So exactly where we're going. Oh I'm speeding again. Oh, I'm so terrible with this. I'm being an awful train driver. Alright, let's just ease off. Just have to be careful. Okay, there we go, it's changed now. Is that Victorville Siding 5? It is, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty certain it is sensitive to us anyway. Okay, that's fine. Absolutely no problem. 
Let me just double check this, actually, you know, because we can't take we can't take risks in doing this. Um, so it will take us to this far left one, the third one, and then that one goes, and then that one goes, and then we carry on. Yeah, okay, this this is definitely the right way, no problem. Just to make absolutely certain, we are gonna we'll just save just in case. Make sure that we don't do anything absolutely stupid. It'll only be another five minutes or so before we get there anyway, so it's only another couple of miles. But of course, the speed limits will probably go down as we actually, get, well, once we actually get to Victorville. Yeah, here we go. We have to go back to slow down to 35 and Let's just play it cool. Play it cool. That's a phrase. That's the, that, that, that's a phrase that I strongly advise you use when when dealing with um, speed limits and trends in the Just play it cool. Play it cool. Thirty-five and then forty-five. I don't know. No, I have no idea. I, I, I assume, unless we, we, we're possibly just changing track, I guess, maybe you have to be quite slow just for that just for that portion, maybe. I'm not sure. Ooh, look, that water looks quite cool. Let's have a look at this. That's not bad water. I mean... In, in, in like, general graphics it is quite crap, but then again, just remember, we are on, you know, the, the sort of lowest graphical setting. And, of course, this is Drain Simulator, it's not exactly renowned for its, you know, graphical prowess, I guess you could say. So, pretty good gra uh, things for the, uh, pretty good water, water effects for the game, to be fair to it. We're, def we're definitely going to be there. The only thing is we are going to have to slow down to 15 in a moment, so let's just slowly start this other one now. Actually, if we just leave it on zero, the wheels will be be decelerating anyway. It's on slow coast. There's, there's Victor Bull Sign 5. I think that, sh that should be Victor Bull Sign 5. It could be another different one because we are obviously going through one to get to another one here. Um, Victorville. Five. Yep, good. All sorted. Anyway, we are going to have to s stop or slow down at least, as the signal does, does indeed say. Then we can just start slowing down. Very close to the end of this, just have to make sure that the entire train is parked on Visible Sign 5 and then we are done and dusted. We are ready to rock in the next scenario after we have done this one. I think the next scenario is a bit shorter than this one. Uh, I think it's. Although I could be completely wrong. Yeah. Didn't really give it a good look. Carefully pull into the siding to make sure we don't break anything, including that signpost that's just, just off to our left here. Yeah. 
what is that in the distance? Oh, I'll just rock something. I was going to say, I thought it was like a giant, cir like, like a giant circus tent or a teepee or something like that, but no. It's all good. I hope you aren't gonna. I hope you aren't gonna be penalised for being too early. No. We shouldn't be. The only reason that would cause an issue is if there was other trains that were meant to come through in there, but I don't think that was. And if so, surely the game would have just stopped with a red light. You would have thought anyway. You can never tell though. Glass buildings in the distance. What the fuck are they? Those little, little strangely shaped things. I have no idea. I thought there was a sandstorm sign there for a second. Like those little things on the train. But it's just, the, it's just, it's just the steam. Nothing too much to worry about. I'd say we're roughly halfway into the side. Ah, more of those power lines which 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 dig into the uh, the ground. That's a fantastic way to to end, bring back a good old favourite of train simulator. The old underground power lines can't beat them. Can't beat them at all. There's there's literally no reason to have underground power lines, <laughs> but they're just they're just there and half visible fences as well, which are just like strange. But yeah, yeah, whatever. He lost his eyeballs. Just by that, can go there. He, oh my god, he actually he actually has no eyes. He, he, he has no eyeballs. It's, it's that is terrible. That is just absolutely awful. Anyway, I think the entire train is on the siding now, so we can come to a nice stop. Yep, all trains on the siding, no issues. Stop before we 
enter to, to enter the fucking industrial plant. Can't be on that. Go through the big stop, and there we go. Now I just have to wait until the message pops up saying that we're done. I think it should pop up before the the clock reaches the end. Um, it usually stops beforehand. It'd be an absolute pain if we did actually have to wait the entire nine minutes just sort of sitting here on this train. There we go. You've arrived on time and have completed all objectives. You have passed this challenge. Uh, stop two out of destinations. How many times do we speed? 14 times. We also passed a uh, signal. Passed a danger signal twice, unfortunately. Ah, well. It happens. Well. If you have enjoyed, then please like, comment, subscribe, favorite, and share with your friends. Um, I hope you did enjoy it, by the way. I forgot to say that. Oof. I, I, I hope you didn't enjoy it. I'm joking. <laughs> hope you did enjoy it. If you have, then please like, comment, subscribe, favorite, and share with your friends. Stay tuned for episodes of Train Simulator 2015. If you have any suggestions for games I can play on this channel, things I can do in Train Simulator, or things I can do to improve my videos, then please leave your suggestions in the comment section below. Thanks again, guys. Have a nice day. Cheers.